Hello everyone. All the living organisms want to increase their rate of survival. And for increasing that rate of survival during their lifetime, they generally go for certain changes. Since can either only be physical or can be physical as well as chemical. These changes can be temporary or sometimes can be permanent. So today we are going to discuss about these changes in detail. Coming on to the first kind of change that is adaptation. Adaptation is a permanent change in an organism that can be inherited from one generation to the next generation. And because of this inheritance feature, it is a very long term process and it generally leads to evolution. We can understand it with a very simple example that is of the camel. The camel is an organism that adapted itself to the desert environment by having a hump where it can store water even though during the scarcity of water it can stay for a longer duration without water. Coming on to the next topic that is acclimatization. Acclimatization is a temporary change that is only and only occurring in the physical appearance. This temporary change only helps in the survival of that individual for a particular time period because of certain habita habitat change. For understanding acclimatization, we can have our own example. We all are having a constant body temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius. But because of the environmental conditions, our body acclimatizes itself so that we can survive in a better way. For example, in winters, because of the low temperatures, our body shiver so that the cell can generate by shivering, it can generate a better energy or a heat that help in maintaining the body temperature. In summers, the opposite thing occur. That is, in summers, because of the high temperature, the body starts sweating so that that sweating will further lead to evaporation and a cooling effect to the body. The changes are actually temporary and it does not lead to any kind of permanent change in our biochemical structure and such changes that is why termed as acclimatization. I hope you can understand now or you can differentiate between adaptation and acclimatization in a better way. Thanks for watching this video. Do like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. And keep watching because in my next video I am going to discuss about the types of adaptation.